Hey what's up guys welcome back to your programming knowledge and this is the third video of a five part video series on how to create user registration form using PHP. So in the previous tutorial we have styled our user registration form so as you can see we have improved the looks of our form and we also modified our PHP code to capture the values if the user submitted the form. So in this lecture, we're going to implement the database connection and we will create a new database that will hold all the information of the user accounts. So let's go ahead and open up our browser. Let's try to use the localhost phpMyAdmin. Okay. Click on the new link. And for the database name, type in user accounts and click on create. Let's create a new table with the name users. And for the number of columns, we have I think six. One column for the ID, which is auto increment, the first name, the last name, the email the phone number and the last is the password so six and click on go so for this one the first column is ID and type in with auto increment option should be enabled the second one is first name with a type of bar char and the length let's say 100 and uh, the next one is last name type borchar and 100 and I think it's email and let's set it also to borchar and the next one is the phone number should be borchar also with the uh, length of 50 and the password for char I think 32 will be enough but let's just put it to 50 or set it to 50 and click on save so now we have our database which is the user accounts and with the table users with six fields which is ID first name last name email phone number and password I think it's high time for us to define or create our config that PHP so let's open up our config that PHP file and connect our database to our PHP code so here inside our config that PHP file we need to open our PHP tag and define three variables which is for our DB user which is root and DB password or DB pass in my case it's empty and DB name equals of course user accounts okay so based on these variables, we need to define a new object of the PDO class. Open close parenthesis. So inside here, we need to type in MySQL and colon and then host equals localhost and semicolon. After that, DB name equals. We need to append the DB name variable that we have defined above, and append another string, which is for the character set of our database, which is UTF8, and after that. We need to pass in the db user 
variable and also the db password variable or the db pass variable and let us set an attribute to this db object below so db set attribute and open close parenthesis and pdo attr error mode or yeah error mode and pdo error mode should be exception so this will give us more information if we encounter problems when we're using the db object later on so with that we're now ready to use this db object into our registration.php so open up the registration.php file and let's include the config.php into this file so require once the config.php okay and make sure that you save the config.php file so inside this if statement we can now use the db object that we define in config.php so all we have to do now is uh, type in the sql and of course our first sql will be insert into users and we just need to list the uh, fields which are first name last name the email the phone number and of course the password with values open close and question mark question mark question mark question mark one two three four I think it's five right five and statement for our insert stmt insert equals the db object that we have defined in config.php and prepare for supply the sql uh, statement and let's just delete this line so after this stmt insert let's define result and stmt insert and type in execute and of course we need to supply the array of the fields or the values coming from the form which is the first name which is the first name last name email and phone number and password so if result is true open close curly braces echo successfully save okay else echo there were errors while saving the data save your file and open up the browser refresh the page and let's try to input some names here example uh, Jane the last name Doe and email address will be Jane Doe at gmail.com phone number plus 63-9856 just random numbers okay and password Jane Doe and click on the sign up button cool now it says successfully save but let's check our database or the PHP my admin to see if the data has gone through okay so browse 
let's just click on this browse and you can see we now have the uh, first record which is the Jane uh, the first name Jane last name Doe email address Jane Doe at gmail.com phone number and of course the password which is Jane Doe okay so I think our insert method or insert logic is good but there's a lot of room for improvement so for example we want the form not to reload every time we submit the information and also the uh, feedback if successful or not is I think it's not that good or not that good looking so we will implement the sweet alert library to replace this boring feedback that we have here all right guys thank you for watching and in the next video we'll work on jquery and sweet alerts thanks